figure, what I really love to do is, is uh, be able to incorporate what's going on with you guys into whatever songs happen to be played tonight. But I'm going to start off with, with like a, a few that are kind of the more uh, autobiographical uh, songs um, so that you know where I'm coming from, maybe, uh, at least part of it. And, <coughs> but I hope that this, you know, no sound system would be in this room, and there are some familiar faces in here, uh, that it, it helps uh, the evening to feel informal for you. So if you have questions or comments or want to share a story in between songs, uh, that would make me really happy because then that would maybe help me figure out what the next song I'm going to play. <laughs> um, but I, I, I'll play this one that's, um, that uh, I wrote about, well, kind of about the fact that I grew up in Texas. I grew up in Austin um, and um, on a farm. So I was like a cowboy and had dreams of being a rodeo, you know, I grew up do team roping stuff and went hunting a lot and um, and we had a cattle operation uh, at, at the farm where I grew up and it was a small operation of 20 head of cattle but I was in charge of it when I was in high school and I mean I look back on those times and, and I uh, it was a different world like I subscribed to like Texas Black Angus magazine <laughs> <laughs> Which, I don't know if anybody's ever seen a magazine like that before, but <laughs> it's mainly like stories about ranches and then advertisements. And the advertisements are, to be frank, I mean, they're, they're for, you know, there'll be a picture of a bull, right? And, and it's advertisements for uh, this bull's semen. So, uh, <laughs> it's weird. It's a weird world. And, uh... Like, you're supposed to buy it and, and, and put it in your cows. It's not for anything else. But, but <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, um, the recreational use. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really have to take it in a really wrong way. But, uh, and, uh, yeah, so towards the end of high school, my dad wanted me to go to AI school, which stands for artificial insemination. And uh, I had been around that, uh, you know, a bit enough to know that it involved a, a really long club. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I, I, that's kind of when I decided I wanted to be a songwriter. <laughs> so I moved to Nashville, Tennessee to go to college at Belmont University. And um, I met my wife the first day of school, uh, first day of class. And uh, we got married the summer after we graduated. That's almost uh, over 14 years ago. And I have three kids, they're 10, 8, and 5. Boy, girl, boy. Um, I just caught half of my youngest soccer game this morning before I flew out. And uh, he's quite the, uh, you know, he's a kid who will make a goal and go rub it in everybody else's face. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not keeping score in that league yet, right? But my son is. So, um, <laughs> anyways, I realized uh, a number of maybe six years ago, uh, that uh, there was a time when I kind of cleaned out the closet of the house we were living in because we, we sold it when we were moving into, Na into town in Nashville. And um, I saw in the back corner of my closet, I saw my old fly fishing rod and uh, my old shotgun. And I remember thinking that I hadn't used them in a long time, uh, so long that I almost didn't remember what they were for. And um, and that's, that's when it kind of occurred to me that, uh, that uh, I hadn't used them as long as I'd known my wife, Jill. Um, and, you know, I think before we got married, we went to premarital counseling, and it was a good premarital counselor. You, know, you talk about normal stuff like fi finances. I guess that's what they say most married couples fight over. If you don't have finances, then there's not a whole lot to fight over, which is our, our gift, I guess. But, <laughs> but they uh, uh, talk about that and kind of like the vision of like household duties and what, you know. Uh, but he didn't tell me that marriage was a long, slow process of the feminization of man. <laughs> <laughs>
took my granddad's 22 when I was in the second grade. And I shot a deer right in the heart. He rubbed his blood upon my face. That's a true story. The summer when I turned 16, I got up each day before the dawn. I was building barns and mailing hay. Worked harder than Fried steak and barbecue. I had Dr. Pepper every meal. And bluebell when the day was through. Now I'm watching my cholesterol. My metabolism's obviously slowing. And I I watch these young 